Yo, what's up everybody, Professor V here. And with the recent changes to APA style, it warranted a new tutorial on how to set up your APA style paper on Microsoft Word. Let's go. Before we get started, the seventh edition differentiates the formatting between professional papers and student papers. Student papers, which are usually narrative essays, reaction or response papers or literature reviews include a title page, page number, the main body of the text and a reference list. Tables, figures and appendices may also be included if an assignment requires them. This video is dedicated to student paper formatting. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to open Microsoft Word and verify the spacing is correct. Double spaces should be used with no additional spaces between paragraphs. To be certain of this, go up to Format and click Paragraph. Make sure that the before and after spacing is set to zero and line spacing is set to double and then click OK. Next, select your fonts. You have several choices. Just be sure to use the same font throughout your entire paper. Your choices are 11 point Calibri, 11 point Arial, 10 point Lucida Sans Unicode, 12 point Times New Roman, 11 point Georgia, or 10 point Computer Modern. Here's an example of which each of these fonts look like so you can choose which to use to your liking. 10 point Computer Modern is not a font that comes with Microsoft Word and has been excluded from this sample. My apologies. To select the font and font size, take your cursor to the top left of the Microsoft Word document and click in this text box. You can either type out the font in which you choose or click this little arrow button to see a drop down menu. Now select one of the fonts mentioned before. My recommendation is Times New Roman. Now click in this text box and you can type in the proper font size or this little arrow and then you can select the proper font size for the chosen font. Next, click the Layout tab in the upper portion of the Microsoft document. Select Margins and be certain that the margins are set to Normal, which is 1 inch margins all around your document. Next, unlike previously in the 6th edition, student papers no longer require a running head, author's notes, or an abstract unless it is explicitly stated by your instructor to include them. Be certain if you need to include any of these elements or not. The page number should start on the title page. To do so, double click in the upper portion of the Word document. Alternatively, you can click on the insert tab, click header and select the blank header and then delete the text that appears, if any. Now you'll see a new section appear at the top of the Word document labeled header. Select page number, click on page number and verify that the alignment is set to right and then press OK. Now you will need to change the font of the page number to the chosen font that you selected before. To do so, highlight the page number, then click on the Home tab, and then select the font and font size. Then you can click on Header and Footer at the top of the document, and then click Close Header and Footer. Alternatively, you can double click outside the Header and Footer to disengage from editing the header and footer section of the document. Next, center your text by clicking this icon. Bold the text by clicking this icon and position your cursor in the upper half of the title page, three or four lines down from the top margin. To do so, press enter three to four times. Now type your title in sentence case. This means use both capital and lowercase letters when necessary. Common words should not be capitalized such as the, a, to, on, etc. Next, deselect bold by clicking on the bold icon again. Press enter twice on your keyboard to create a blank double spaced line between the paper title and the byline. The byline is where you put the author or author's names. If you're the sole author of the paper, type your name centered and the font you chosen before. Include first name, middle name if applicable, last name, and suffix if applicable. Suffix include junior, senior, and Roman numerals. Do not bold or italicize your name. Omit any titles such as Mr., Miss, Mrs., Doctor, Professor, or any academic degrees or licenses such as MA, PhD, MD, RN, LCSW, etc. If there are multiple authors, include every author's name on the byline. Now press enter to go to the next line. This is where you'll state your affiliation. Your affiliation 
is the department and then the actual name of the college or university in which the course you're taking. Next, press enter to go to the next line. Type your course number and name for which the paper is being written for. Then press enter again to begin the next line and state your instructor's name. Check with your instructor if they have a preference on how they want their name stated as they may be several ways depending on their educational level and or titles. Press enter again to start a new line and type the due date of the assignment written in month, date, and year format. Great, now you're done with the title page. Be certain that everything on the title page is centered with the exception of the page number. The page number needs to be aligned to the right margin. Afterwards, insert a page break by going to the top of the document, clicking insert, and clicking page break. Now your cursor should be centered on the next page. Scroll down so you can see the full second page. Verify that the page number is in the upper right hand corner of the document. If not, repeat the steps stated earlier on how to add page numbers. Again, your cursor should be centered on the first line of the second page. Next, click on home and then click bold text. And now type the full title of your paper as it appears on the title page. Then press enter to go to the next line, left align your text, deselect bold, press tab on your keyboard to indent the first paragraph and begin typing your documents. And you're done with setting up your student paper for AP style 7th edition. However, professors and instructors may modify the formatting if they wish. So always check with them, especially if they want a student cover page or a professional cover page. The best source on how to write in APA style is the APA Publication Manual 7th edition. This video is intended just as a quick guide to get you started. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please state them in the comments below or refer to the APA Publication Manual 7th edition. In my next video, I will show you how to set up a professional paper cover page in Microsoft Word, which is very similar to the previous edition. So thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful or informative, Hit the like button, subscribe if not already, and I will see you in the next one.